today we're facing off against competitive Pokemon card player Plus Power in this week 14 OPOP OP League matchup. Welcome back, y'all. We're here uh, with another OPOP OP 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 League match against Plus Power. A Alex. Well, Alexa. Alexa. Plus Power, Alexa, whatever you want to call them. Um, great content creator. I, I actually only just found out about their stuff through the league. Uh, didn't know really much about them. Yo, what are we seeing? Is this a mad party deck? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> All right. So what do we want to do? I mean, uh, if it is in fact mad party, um, then we definitely do want Minchino down and we definitely do also want another drill bird down because the chances of them knocking out the drill bird are very high. What we're going to need to do more than likely is we're going to need to gust up their Dedenes, their Crobats, that kind of thing. Um, so let's go ahead and take that drill bird. And I'm going to save the the fighting energy uh, just because they could knock out the active like relatively easily. And if that's the case, then we come up with the bench drillber and we try to go for like a gust on a uh, on an attacker, um, a synesty or a Dedenne, Crobat, that kind of thing. Because a lot of times now the Dedenne Crobat combo, you know, is is very highly played in Mad Party decks. So we're going to try to try to leverage that. Um, we have a generally good hand. I love where we're at, especially getting that Minchino down first turn. They're going to go ahead and boss the Minchino. Do they not have anything else? Oh my. Oh my. All right, let's go ahead and Hapu. Yeah, let's Hapu here. Let's take... Um, this? We could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's take these... I really would like the Fion to be honest, but I don't think we can. I don't think we can swing it. We got a little bit punished for not attaching there, but it doesn't look like our opponent has much of anything. So um, we'll go here. We don't really want to play the Marnie though, to be honest. So maybe we do, in fact, keep the Fion. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay, so by keeping the Fion, we actually have an avenue here to put a Pokemon back in. We can go and oh, we could have uh, we could have knocked out the could have knocked out the Bunnelby. That's fine. Actually, you know what? I I would rather have the Guru active. No, no I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make that uh, I'm gonna make that decision there. I'd rather have the Guru active. So we'll go ahead and take out a Sinchino. We'll evolve, we'll attach, we'll uh, we'll do one of these make do's, discarding a an ordinary rod. Try to get a couple more benched Pokemon here. Oh, we <laughs> never punished, bro. Never punished. <laughs> uh, insane stuff. All right, and then we get to go ahead and energy assist, knock out the Bunnelby. And uh, put an energy on the Excadrill. Wow, insane. Yeah, yeah, So that was the play from the, from all along. <laughs> that rocks, bro. That rocks so hard. Um, yeah, so they get one more turn. They get to see their top deck here with the, uh, with the Primate Wisdom. They get a Familiar Bell. Okay, okay. I see you there. See you there with that Familiar Bell. Um, but at this point... I'm not saying we're running away with the game, but I am saying that, um, you know, it, it's going to be a lot harder for us to lose at this point. Yo, we could gust up the Sinistee here. Um, that feels pretty good. Not going to lie. Let's go ahead and make do. Discard this. Get ourselves, like, all of the energy. Um, we could gust up the Sinistee, and by doing that, we would potentially... Oh, it has res oh it has resistance to fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that doesn't matter here with the Sinchino. Um, well, I think they're going to play... Yeah, I think we should go ahead and retreat into the Excadrill. 
Let's do that. Let's go ahead and hop over here. We get that, that. Um, that seems great. Or we could go that and the ordinary rod. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's take one in the ordinary rod. That's fine. Go ahead and retreat into this. Put our other drillber down. Go ahead and evolve is fine. Um, I'm going to wait to play that ordinary rod. And we will drill bazooka. Do 120 damage. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest here. I'm not that well practiced with, uh, with Excadrill. Um, it's been a minute since I played this deck. So the other two decks that we're bringing today are Eternatus and Picaram. So I'm trying to think what we might play on our next. It's got to be Picaram, right? Because we're packing the Vikavolt. And Vikavolt is particularly good in this matchup. So probably bring that next. So there's an Evo Incense. You got to think that they're getting the uh, Poltergeist. They're going to draw some cards. I would love it to see. I would love to see them drop a... Um, drop a Dedenne or Crobat, and then we just gust that up. And then from there, we just need to get two more attackers because all their attackers are pretty weak. We're already up two prizes. This is about as good of a position as you can be in. We just have to make sure that we're not discarding too many attackers. So there's a uh, twin. There's a Mad Party. Not going to be enough, though. So I like where we're at still. Um, we can go ahead and once again Hapu. I want to be sure that we're not going through our deck too quickly. So maybe Hapu doesn't make a lot of sense since we're already pretty well set up. Um, I think we can afford to do something like this. Make do away the great catcher. We don't, again, don't really need that with the boss's order in hand. Uh, and let's go great ball. Get ourselves an Altaria. That's something that we can just discard later. Um, and I said that we weren't going to play Hapu, but maybe we should. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right, so we'll Hapu, we'll take that, and we'll take a fighting... Yeah, okay. This is gonna basically guarantee us game. Uh, we'll do that. And then we will 11th hour tackle. We don't even need to discard the top cards because obviously uh, this Bunnelby is weak to fighting. Okay, cool. Good stuff here from our Excadrill deck. We queued into a pretty good matchup and are just kind of running away with it at this point. Need to just play it safe, play it... Uh, Close to the vest here, we got our three attackers built up, and a Mad Party list is just going to have a tough time, especially if they're attacking with Bunnelbees. Especially if they're attacking with Bunnelbees. So we see that quick ball. Dedenne, that is going to be a huge uh, target for us. We'll go ahead and gust up the Dedenne. Uh, play another Mancino down. Maybe play this energy down onto our Drillber. Um, and we're good to go. Because what they could play is something like an, a Giovanni's Exile. I'm sure that our opponent is looking for that card. But, um, yeah, let's talk about something else. I got this heater right on my hip. So I'm in the basement. Again, peel back the curtain of uh, content creation here. I'm in my basement. My moldy... It's not that moldy. We did have a flood in the spring. If you want to watch that video, it's uh, the Dene Plus Water on the YouTube. But, um... Okay, let's go here. Let's get ourselves... I don't know. We could get a Fion, sure. Get a Mincino. Um, make do. Discard that. Go here. Take that out. Uh, I'm going to save the energy just in case. Uh, we can go here as well. And then uh, Drill Bazooka for sure. He says, I will go first. GG. WP. All right, so they want to go first. Um, I, I would expect my opponent to bring the Mad Party once again. So let's bring Picaram. Uh, let's try to get him with the uh, with the turn one. Um, with the turn one Vigavolt, shall we? All right, where are we at? Alixa. Alixa? Alixa? But I got this heater right here. It's on my hip, and it's like I need a space heater because it's cold down in here in the basement. Columbus in winter. It's cold. You know, it's probably 35 outside, maybe. Seems generous. And but I have the space here, but it doesn't really it doesn't really space heat. You know, despite the name, it doesn't really space heat. Um 
yo, the God start, uh, the God start. We just need to draw into a quick ball and we, we like actually have the God start. Um, yeah, we will lead, we'll lead peak. We'll lead peak. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's great. I do love me a, spe a good space eater. Yo, he picks the Colossal, bro. Come on, dude. They always do that. <laughs> oh, it was going to be bad. Uh, it was going to be bad no matter what we had. Um, so do we speed lightning? Because we'd love to get a Boltund active. Let's go ahead and play that down. Um... Wow, this is a tough one. This is a tough one because we have both switched. Like the likelihood of us getting, the likelihood of us getting a bolt on here is very, very low. Although I suppose we could speed into like a quick ball. Okay, we like kind of got it. Um, wow, I mean this is just so threatening. I don't know. I don't know how we come back from this. We'll need to like peek a rom. So we'll switch into the bolt hunt. Switch into the bolt hunt, and then we'll go to Zene. And then... Hmm. We could get another bolt hunt down. And we could, we could accelerate. We could also save the... We could save this. I know, this is kind of boring. I'm trying to think about what would be our best play. Um, we could get a bolt on down and accelerate. We could save the quick ball. I, I think we just save the quick ball at this point. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pass. We could have gotten another bolt on, right? We could go air balloon, pop the cocoa, bolt on. But we're not bolt hunting to anything really relevant because this Pikachu and Zekrom just gets one shot on the next turn. So I think we just keep the hand. Uh, it would have been nice to get more energy into play, to be fair. But, um, you know, this kind of deck doesn't really worry about that. You got you got Pikaram, right? You got Pikaram to do, to do your bidding. So there's another energy attachment by the Colossal. Uh, if we can swing into this... Uh, with like a Pikaram and get like a Raichu Raichu set up. I think that would be best case scenario. So let's see if we even have that opportunity. They are going to go in with that Pokecom. And we see a VMAX. Will they have an energy on the top of their deck? Do they have a Guru or something like that? We'll have to see. Ah, there's a Research. Okay. Okay, looking pretty good then. Should see Guru come down here. Should see an energy hop back onto the top and they... Likely will be knocking out this bolt hunt. But anyway, I was talking about the space heater. Yeah, it just like it hits my leg with like a blast of a uh, thousand degrees, and then like my body is like moderately warm. But like my leg is on fire, but I need to keep the space heater close. And it, like it's a, it's a catch twenty two, right? Because I need to keep the space heater close enough that I can feel the heat because it's very like. It's a very small space heater, but at the same time, it like just destroys my leg because I get so uh, I get so close. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I know. I hear you guys now saying, uh, "Just get a bigger space heater forehead." Yo, nothing, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Um, maybe we get a Mewtwo. Maybe we go get a a little Mewtwo baby. All right, all right, I see you. All right, let's get uh, let's get that Mewtwo going. We would need a an energy switch. Let's go here. Get another Dadini. Um, yeah, I mean, we would need an energy switch. I don't know. I don't know what else. 
really there is to say. Um, so I guess the question would be, should we should we go for the Dedene? Or nah? Like, before the boss's orders? Like, we could boss up the Colossal V. I mean, presumably they have ways around all this stuff, right? It's just such a bad... Such a weird matchup. All right, we're going to go with the uh, with the Dedenne. Aha, we did get an energy switch. Let's go Crushing Hammer, Tails. We could still even boss's orders. Uh, and then we'll dance the Ancients here and here. So at this point, one thing we could do as well... Well, we could actually just... Let's accelerate onto... Let's accelerate onto the other peak. Or the other... Uh, the other... Mewtwo. Go retreat. Go... Here. And, um... Let's see, that's doing 140. We could boss it up and just start trying to swing into it. Let's see. Or we could swing into this guy. Doesn't have all the energy. Um, what a weird game this is. I don't quite know this matchup either. Alright, let's play the boss. I think we should try to take advantage of uh, swinging into this Colossal while we can. And we'll do, uh, we'll do a full blitz. Do one of them there, full blitzes, and uh, go to our benched Mewtwo. So if we can find ourselves a crushing hammer on this stone energy, then we could actually take a knockout next turn with a tag bolt. It would depend on them, you know, it would depend on us getting a crushing hammer, which with this hand doesn't look very likely. But it also would depend, we could also maybe switch and get an energy switch into the bolt hunt. That would be a cool play few different things we could do um but i think swinging in there with the gust oh they have buff padding okay that makes it like infinitely harder then and they have malo and lana okay that makes it a uh, uh, harder still so they're gonna malo and lana heal it up at this point we're looking for a tag bolt um we're looking for a tag bolt to take out five prizes Right? Yo, they they eruption shot it without. <gasps> so lucky, so lucky. Okay, we'll go bolt hunt. Wow, 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 wee wow. That's insane, bro. Wow, that's a huge win for him. Uh, okay, we'll quick ball. Quick ball. Get ourselves a. A gaussy gauss. Um, one, two, uh, yeah, we just, we got a full blitz. Yeah, full blitz there. And then, Oh, that's so bad. They have nothing, bro. They have nothing. They eruption shot it and they hit something. If they don't have another energy, we are really in a good spot. But if they take a knockout here on the Mewtwo Mew, things get a little spooky because then they can just gust up the Pikachu and Zekrom or find a knockout uh, on the Bolton. That would be pretty bad. Uh, there's a number of things that would not uh, not really be great for us. Um, but see what they got. So they're going to switch into the Dedene. Maybe just pass? Oh, buddy, give me a switch. <gasps> okay, okay, good. Good stuff. Let's go here. I think we take out both Dedene. What do you guys think? I think we take out both Dedene at this point. Let's use, uh, let's use Tag Bolt. Go there, there. Force this up. Because they ain't bringing this thing up. And then if we can find another switch, we should be able to knock it out. We could we could do our damage calculations here. Um, but we're looking for one more switch. 
And then we can knock out with Bolt Hunt. We're down. We're down a few switch. We got another air balloon. And we got one more switch in the deck. So we can uh, we could certainly knock them out. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're gonna have twelve. Uh, twelve times three is three sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Minus two. I mean, it looks really rough. They have to like knock out the Mewtwo new. Um, or potentially knock this out, but even losing three energy, I think we still have it, right? If we, let's say we minus three energy. Um, and we know that they don't have energy. And we know that they don't have um Yeah, it just looks bad. And also if they knock something out, we have Eldegoss. So like there are so many routes where we just win this game, and that is just unbelievable. Yeah, so there's that. They knock us out here, we just go gust up the gust up the crowbat right if they if they take a knockout on this mutune mew gg but if we lose let's see let's just do the damage calcs so we got six seven eight uh eight times three 24 um 25 right 250 minus let's see we have to do um 190 plus four, 240 260 we would have to do 260 so yeah we would need a gust um and we got that Eldegoss. Great. So they would need to disrupt the hand and take a knockout. Seems um how you say unlikely. Seems very unlikely. We'll see what they have. We'll see what they have. They might decide, like, maybe they have a gust and they think like, oh, you know, the bolt hunt uh, is the best way to go here. I would agree. The bolt hunt is the scariest thing. But at the same time, can you really afford to gust up the bolt hunt? I don't know. Because that's only two prizes. Like, I think you're trying to go into the Mewtwo and Muse, right? You're trying to, like, they're going to Great Catcher a Dedenne. Okay, I think that just about seals it. Oh, they're going to Great Catcher the Mewtwo. Okay, one. They're doing the same damage calcs. Seven, eight, nine. So nine times 30, 270, 280. Minus 20 is 260. 260 plus 140 is 400. That would be the knockout on the active, but I think just to just to make sure we have it, we're going to go for the Crobat. I mean, we know we have it on the active, even with the minus 40 damage. Um, yeah, but there's no real, no real need to risk it for the Biscuit. There's no Biscuit to be risked it, you know? Go. Boss's orders. On to the Crobat. And Bolt Storm. GG, well played. That is it for our, what, week number 12 matchup here against Plus Power. Go check them out on their channel if you guys like this uh, matchup and you like this OPOP League. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. We got great things coming out every single day. So with that, remember guys, good luck and also have fun.